guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Fee and my channel is called Fee Ellen Grace and I'm going to be doing beauty videos, skincare, makeup, lifestyle, fashion, face as well. Where's my dude? This is my first ever one and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I've been thinking for a few years now whether I should do a YouTube channel or not. So I thought I'm just going to get myself out there for the first time and actually do it because if not I'm just never gonna do it so yeah this is my first video I hope you guys enjoy it and it is all about how to get this makeup look and as you can see I'm on holiday I'm in Croatia at the moment on one of their islands near Split it's beautiful here you'll probably see lots of photos on my Instagram this is probably the makeup look that I've used for almost all my photos but this is just usually what I do. I'm doing photos today. I decided to go the extra mile and do brighter, poppy eyeshadow using my essentials, my favorite makeup products that I have. On this channel, you're gonna see I'm not the expensive type. If that is you, then this is the perfect channel for you because I'm using products that are as good as the very big brands out there like Irma Decay, Kylie Cosmetics, Morphe. I'm just using dupes of what I think is just as good but way cheaper so if you're the type of person who prefers saving money and still having amazing products then keep watching and subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get on with the video. Okay so take two I have just taken almost all my makeup off. I had done my foundation, I'd done my bronzer, I'd done my highlight, my blush, base of my eyeshadow, and I just started on my eyebrows. And I said to Zoe, can you please check the camera to make sure everything's okay and I'm still in focus? And it says the video has stopped recording. And we're like, when did it stop recording? So I went back, we watched right up until it cut off, and it cut off probably like just after I'd finished my foundation or I'm just gonna redo everything take off my makeup again so hopefully this video will be worth it and yes yeah, so I'm doing my makeup twice so I'm gonna start with a clean fresh face first things first I always curl my lashes just because I just love the look of curled lashes I feel like it just it's just natural and you're not even wearing mascara I just can't do my makeup without curling my lashes. I'm gonna moisturise. So I'm using the Neutrogenia. Neutrogenia. <laughs> okay. And then going with my moisturiser, which is Neutrogena Visibly Clear Spot Proofing All Free Moisturiser. And I've got combination skin, so I've got kind of dry and very oily skin. So. This has been helping me so much lately. My skin has been so much clearer. I've had, I don't think I've had like any spots since I've been using this the last two months now. And it has been one of my favorite skincare products. If you guys want me to do a skincare routine morning and evening, comment below or DM me or whatever if you want me to do one. If you're interested to know what I do. Even though foundation always says that it's got SPF in it. You always need to protect your skin, especially if you're out and about and it's sunny and it's like 30 degrees. Now that is all sunk into my skin. Oh crap, I forgot to prime. So stupid. Doing this twice is so confusing. Primer and it's New Revolution Makeup Revolution London. Pro Base Aqua Priming Base. I'll have all the products in below. And just spray this on everywhere. Ooh, got a fan. So extra, I'm on holiday and I'm just doing that. So. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. James Charles makes that extra, like, extra. That's just what we do. Always drink water as well. That is key for good skin. And then for foundation, I use my Rimmel London SPF 15 BB Cream and this is in the shade light so it's a bit too light for my skin so I'm gonna go in with two foundations um, although this is a BB cream so this is quite light coverage I'm gonna go in with a medium full coverage my hair's a bit weird today I just don't know what's really happening with it but um, I've tried my best to kind of sort it out okay and then this is just a simple brush and then just go in 
a little bit on my cheeks and kind of just blend that out. I know lots of people usually use beauty blenders, but I've been using, oh, stab my, I've been using a brush recently to do my foundation just because it's so much quicker, you don't get foundation on your hands using a beauty blender. Although sometimes I do get a damp beauty blender and just go over it to make sure it's completely sunk into my skin. So I think this is all blended out nicely. And then I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani one, or well, the fake Giorgio Armani. That one of my friends gave to me because it was too pale for her skin. Um, and I started using it, it and it was a bit too pale for my skin too. So I decided to put all my foundations, because I had about four or five at the time, different colours, uh, different brands. There was like number seven, there was Rimmel London, there was that satin silk one in there. So that bit glowy, I've got like some luminous drops in there to make it extra, extra glowy. Don't know why, I just felt like putting that in there. So you can probably tell this is already making the coverage a bit stronger and a bit more my colour as well. I just put it all in this because you can actually take the lid off which is fab, I think I'm probably never going to get rid of it. Just mixed it all up and it is like the perfect shade for me now, especially now that I'm on holiday, it's like the perfect shade. That's a very good way to save money, <laughs> just look expensive. Make sure you blend it out to your neck because there's nothing worse than having just a line. <laughs> there's so many boats around here. I use Rimmel London Wake Me Up Anti Fatigue Skin Brightening Concealer. To be honest, it's not the best one just because of the shade. It looks like I haven't really put any concealer on it, it doesn't really brighten you up. Unless you're really tan, this would be perfect. Um, but for me, I'm not that tan, so I'm just waiting for the very famous Maybelline concealer to come back in stock online and in store because. They've been out of stock for months and I can't find a way to get that product and it's my favourite, 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 favourite concealer. Obviously, everyone's favourite, so it's sold out everywhere. Always go in over your eyelids as well, just because that's quite important. You always get that crease, it's so annoying. So, okay, that is all blended out nicely. And I'm just going to spray it again. This is the oil control fixing spray, so I'm just spraying that on. Just to hold the foundation in place. Okay, so once that is all done, next I'm using Tenor Tint Moisturising Lip Tint and it is in the shade Cherry. I always put this on straight after foundation. Then it has the rest of the time whilst I'm doing my makeup to actually tip my nails. Okay. I'm then gonna go on to contour. So using the Hula Benefit bronzer and literally just go from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth and just blend that in. It's kind of hard not to because it just makes the line stick out so you can follow it a bit easier. And then just follow it around your face a little bit so then it's not too harsh on your cheeks. And then go under your chin and your jawline just to make that pop. Now we're going to move on to the nose, so I use a slightly more defined brush and just go in a little bit and then go under your lower lip just a little bit and that makes your bottom lip a little bit fuller as well, so that's really nice. And then just Blend that out a bit more. Make sure there aren't any harsh lines. I'm going to use 
some blush next. So this is Revolution again, and I'm just using the blush from my little like travel kit. So it's bronze highlight and blush, and this blush has actually already got quite a bit of highlight pigment in it. So I don't know if you can see the sparkles in it, but you can literally just use this as a highlight and go if you need to. If you're in a rush, you can just use that. I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose so I look a bit more sun as well. And next, moving on to highlighter, which is one of my favourite parts. I think it's everyone's favourite part. And just do it in all the places that the sun will naturally hit your face. So, forehead, nose, upper lip, and your chin. And then just blend that out. Just above there. Just the teeny bit, you don't want too much. And then from this ear, your cheekbones, and then go under your eye with the excess. I usually do that just because it kind of brightens my eye up a little bit. So if I'm taking photos, then it just brightens that up a bit. You can probably already see that it's quite pigmented. Bronzer again, and I don't know, you can probably see eyelid creases and they are like the worst thing so I don't really prime them I just kind of use my little bronzer again and just using any brush to kind of get rid of the line to kind of stroke it get rid of the line and this kind of defines it preps it for eyeshadow as well or even you can just have a simple eye look and just have it bronzed and this pretty much lasts the whole day. I'll put eyeshadow on top of this and I don't get an eyelid crease for the whole day or the whole evening. And it does save money if you're buying eyeshadow primers. I'm going to focus on the brows next and use, I can't even read it because I've used it so much. Um, Soap and Glory, I think it's Archery Brow or Archer's Brow. It's just a regular spoolie and pencil. So just go in first and brush all your hairs up. This is actually in the shade light for blonde hair people and I know I'm kind of blonde but my eyebrows are actually very 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 dark and the blonde one is actually the perfect shade for my eyebrows. Just carry on filling it out. Right so finish my eyebrows and then use the Rimmel London Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel and this is just a clear gel that just holds it in place. Brush all of your eyebrow hairs upwards very lightly. Then same here. <laughs> My dad's snorkeling. <laughs> now I can't get out. Okay. So next is eyeshadow, which is one of my favourite parts, and again I'm just going to curl my lashes. So the trick with curling your lashes is basically you have to get right to the root, like absolutely right to the root, and you can see it, and kind of push back so you can feel that this white bit is right, almost, almost in your waterline, and then just press up and kind of pull it up as well. That's kind of what I do, and it helps them stay up. And so next I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow brush and I'm going in with my favourite palette at the moment which is New Revolution, I don't even know which, Life on the Dance Floor Guest List which probably explains why it is sparkly and it has got all of these shades which is amazing and I've got kind of bluey green um, I can't even speak, I can't even think of what I'm thinking. Um, I've got bluey green eyes and my sisters have got very green eyes and this is like the best palette for us because it's full of warm tones and kind of quite dark tones actually as well. Some of them are matte, some of them are sparkly, some of them you can even use as a highlight because they are so pigmented and you see the colours of these, they actually come out like that on your eyes. So so a lot better than other eyeshadow palettes when you see the colours and you're like oh I'm in love with the colours and then you put it on and you can't even see it. On like a colour wheel these are the opposite contrast colours 
to my eye colour and my sister's eye colour. So if you have bluey or green eyes, this is like the best eyeshadow palette you can buy for it because it completely brings your eye colour out and it just looks amazing. It looks amazing in photos. We're going with this one just as kind of like my base. So I'm just going to go over the bronzer that I went in with earlier. So this is kind of like a lemony peachy kind of colour. It's very, very pale. But it's a very good undertone. Okay, and then next I usually go in with this one. So this is just... This is just what I've been doing recently. I haven't experimented that much with the palette. So I've kind of been going for the oranges and reds recently, but I haven't been using the more like dark browns and the purples. I've used pinks actually, I've used pinks as well. And do the same with the other one. So I'm just blending out from the outer to the inner corner of your eye. Okay, and then this one, and this is quite pigmented, so this is probably my favourite colour on the palette so far. You're going to see straight away how pigmented it is. So start from the outer corner and just bring in. So you want it to be like the strongest colour out here, and then just bring it in so it gets it kind of fades inwards basically and just keep bending, bending, bending okay so that one is almost done so I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other eye you can kind of see the light a little bit okay now I'm going to go in with this one which is more this is more of an orangey one which is one I just used this one's more of like a cherry red and I'm just going to do that right on the outer corner just to make it a bit of a deeper colour and then just blend it out a little bit next is the sparkly one and this one's actually sparkly so everything we've used so far is just completely matte so just use this right in the centre next to that cherry and then do that same again on the other eye okay. and then we're kind of gonna highlight it and just make the eyeshadow just really pop go from like a matte to like a really highlighted one so these two are probably one of the most highlighted ones and I usually just use both of them I don't really use just one or the other I kind of mix them both and then just go straight from the inner corner and just blend it out a bit more and it kind of just makes the look a bit a little bit extra <laughs> makes it pop a bit more and then do the same with the other eye just blend out I'm just going to use the excess just to go under my lower lashes very very faintly I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner to define my eyes a little bit more and I'm going to use, this is from Primark actually, and it's actually, it's a brow crayon, I can't believe it's actually called crayon, but um, yeah I'm just going to use this to line my eyelid a little bit, it is quite thick, it's a very thick pencil so I'm just going to put it on a little bit kind of from just the outer corner, kind of fade it in so it gets thinner and thinner towards the middle and then I'm going to use the back end of this brush just to blend it out so it looks a bit more smoky and it doesn't look as harsh on my eye. And then just blend it out. So 
also one of the last things I do and one of my favourite things is mascara. Now I've got two. Um, I have the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara and then this is exactly the same but this is waterproof because I'm on holiday and I thought I probably wouldn't need waterproof mascara. I am taking photos today and this one is newer than this one so I'm going to use this one plus using waterproof. When you sweat it basically stops all the fallout that goes on underneath your eyes so I'm going to use this one today. I'll show you the difference that this mascara makes because if you're going to buy any of these products, buy this. Well, actually buy this one. This one, I think, is actually better than the waterproof one. Just because the waterproof one takes hours to take off when you're just taking off your makeup every night. But yeah, I'll show you the difference that this actually makes and how easy it is to apply it on. So, first things first, curly lashes again. Make sure to hold it as well. Really, really wet right now. Okay, and then that one's done. Oh, I can smell the barbecue. Hold this one. <laughs> 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 have fun, Mum. So start off if you have this mascara, so you can kind of see that it's curved. Kind of is like this shape. Use the under bit. So this is the higher bit. Use the under bit. So you can see it's kind of a dip. Use that against the inner corner of your lashes to kind of go up that way. So the outer curve is facing outwards, so you're not even, you haven't even used that side of the mascara yet, so you haven't used that liquid mascara yet. So just go right from the roots, going upwards, and then slowly twist it. So now you're starting to go onto the upper curvy bit for the outer lashes, so then they look fuller and longer. A bit more wispy, like almost like you've got fake extensions on. I've got quite long lashes, anyways, but this mascara just makes it so much better. I always get people asking me if I'm wearing falsies, and I'm like, no, nope, just mascara. So, if you want to know how I do it, this is how I do it. All right, I'm actually gonna switch to my other one. Maybe I left it out in the sun for a bit too long. And exactly the same movements as before. Going over that again. Now go right to the roots of the lashes. That is a key mistake for so many people. Just get rid of the mascara if you get it anywhere. Don't want it. You can actually see the difference between these two. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing on the other eye. And then I usually go in with any white eyeliner. And then, last but not least, obviously fixing spray. Ooh, perfect. Always the best. Actually, I'm going to use this. Why not? It's her tea tree water, and it was the empty bottle, and we filled it up with sea water. Right, so this is the finished makeup look for a bronzy glowy you can wear this going out you can wear this just for during the day if you want to see a video of how to do just a very natural look just a bronzy kind of eye makeup look or a going out like clubbing or for a dinner or a date kind of look i could do hair tutorials skincare more makeup videos fashion haul i think i'm gonna do a swimwear haul very soon because I've got lots of bikinis and swimming costumes 
from Zappo recently. Literally just any suggestions you want, just put it down below. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and be sure to subscribe because I'm new and it would mean a lot if you just leave a little like as well. Look forward to making the next video for you guys, so I will see you guys soon.